I do assisted dying, I always think whether it is okay to do assisted dying or not. When I think back to my past, I have not always been uh, accepting assisted dying. I haven't even been thinking of assisted dying some days. Uh, I was very deeply into palliative care and terminal sedation in some cases. And I think if you would have asked me whether I accept assisted dying those days, I would have said, crazy. I'm here to prolong life and not to end life as a doctor. Nature is something wonderful. I think nature and God, we were made by God. I do not know whether I can believe that, but I do believe in a good God who does not want us to suffer. He does not want us to, um, to suffer unbearably. Suffering is made by human beings, at least partially. You know, when I, when I save someone who has a heart attack or by reanimation, maybe God would have wanted to take him back to, to end his life. And then I stop God from taking him up to heaven. And uh, two years later, he dies from a very bad cancer with an awful lot of suffering. I do not really know whether suffering is made by God, whether it's not more made by men. And I think God hasn't only given us the possibility to do these blood tests and find out what we can do against illnesses. He also has given us the possibility to, to give assisted dying with a wonderful medication without suffering at all. And this is not a sin, I'm convinced 100%. If it was a sin, I wasn't that happy. When my father had his second uh, stroke, couldn't talk anymore, had a hemiplegia, and he tried to kill himself, taking all the medication, all the pills he found in my house. Then showed that he's going to jump in front of a train to kill himself. Um, this made me have contact with assisted dying for the first time. I did love my father very much, so I did not want to let him go. I did want to give him a palliative way of dying. At my home, he would ha have never ever had to go to a hospital. One other point was that we were brought up very religiously. And I would have loved to ask my father, how, how do you cope with your religious beliefs? How do you cope with the sin that you're killing yourself? And uh, I couldn't ask him because he couldn't answer. He couldn't find a word, he couldn't write. He couldn't express himself unless saying yes or no with his head. So I did not ask. But when you sit on the bed with your father, he drinks the, the deadly medicine, puts his head on your shoulder and dies after having had a good sip of red wine. Um, I think then you start asking yourself, is palliative care really the only way? Isn't there another way that you should accept also? After he had died, I told my sisters and brothers, do not tell anybody why he died. On the funeral, we're not going to tell anybody. I had bad consciousness being a doctor and being a religious person. And then one of my sisters said, I'm not going to tell a lie. If somebody asks me, what did he die of? I will not tell another stroke. And there were 150 people on his funeral. And um, I had to stand up and say, yes, I accepted an assisted dying, which was very difficult for me. But it was, it was okay and nobody complained. They all understood. They all knew my father very well and they could understand. 
which made it a little bit easier for me, but not easy. <laughs> 